Well, hey, it's August 27, 2020. COVID is still going on. However, months, five, six, seven, eight months, we're into it now. But I just made some more progress on Touch the Water. Um, in the script, Daisy, as she is starting to follow, you know, wanting to follow her dream, she starts watching YouTube videos. And so one of the videos she watches is of a guy talking about how even though if you don't have a pool, you can still start to learn to swim by putting your head in a bowl of water and starting to learn the breathing techniques and how to get your body comfortable with sticking your head in the water and breathing and doing some of those movements that happen in a pool or in a body of water. And so this is a little video that she pulls up and watches on her phone. And I figure, why not make some progress on the movie and shoot this video. So I'm actually, I actually created a YouTube video or just shot the video and I'm getting ready to go and, and do the, the post-production on it, be able to use it in the movie. So we've actually shot some of the movie already. And so um, it's exciting. Another little step I've wanted to take for a, a few months. And today I was able to do that and I'm still not giving up, still pushing forward. Um, even though I'm not so much pushing forward right now on Touch the Water, I actually picked up another um, a paying job to be writing a that I'm writing a script on a basketball movie, on a true story. So that's been keeping me engaged. I'm not giving up on Touch the Water. It's a film that needs to get made. And this is just a little more progress of, of what you got to do to keep your dream alive. Just how do you continually keep it so that flame that little spark doesn't die out but it, it'll get made so I still believe thanks for following the journey and hopefully I'll have something else to post really soon of more progress we're making